it's 365Y. With Julian Eric Zimelis. And we're bringing you the update from Kona. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about uh, some of the new updates here, a few things to touch on, and new businesses. We got a lot of new businesses. We're gonna take you all over the, uh, instead of just sticking in town, we're kind of branching out a little bit. And then the other thing that we were gonna talk about was um, some of the things that we, uh, uh, the updates on the updates from before, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so if you guys have been watching our videos, uh, we did an update, I don't know, about a month ago or so. Yep. And uh, Eric flew his drone over some of the new uh, gas stations that are coming up. So we're gonna give you a little bit of update on uh, what's happened since then. Okay, one of the things that happened the last couple months is on this Morton Bay fig tree, <laughs> Well, this huge branch came off, and then there was a question on whether this tree was going to have to be taken down. And it's been here for over a hundred years. So luckily, they were able to figure out a way to just top it, clean it up, and make it uplifted a little bit. So it's uh, pretty healthy these days. So uh, we're good to go. So it's always in there, it's always fun to introduce you to some chefs around town that are doing cool things. Uh, we got a chance to interview Chef Brian, who is the owner of Sun Dried Specialties and the Kona Grill House, who just opened up a new restaurant called Kanoa Grill. And it is uh, located up near Safeway, and we're going to get by, a chance- By the old Safeway. Old Safeway, old Safeway. Yep. So we're going to get a chance to let you meet him and learn more about what his business is all about. I'm here with Chef Brian Fujikawa, and he is the owner of the Kanoa Grill, which used to be the Kona Grill House. Yes. Right, sure. and he is going to be opening his restaurant tomorrow, July 1st, but you guys are going to see this a little bit later. But um, congratulations, first of all. Um, can you tell people a little bit about your restaurant, what you serve, what you're known for, and what's going on? Well, we started this about 11 years ago. Okay. Um, actually, 23 years ago, we started with dried fish for the first 12 converted into a little restaurant up, up in Kelly Cook, right. at Corner Grill House. And then now we actually moved into town. So the menu is still the same. You know, we're kind of known for our fresh catch, you know, fresh fish, the poke, the lobster crab cakes. And then we do daily specials. Like um, like today, it's Friday, so we do like a smoked prime rib. Right, and you do that every Friday? Every Friday. Every prime Friday, rib. smoked prime ribs. And then Thursdays, we do like a little bit of pork chops. Okay. The other three days it depends on what I feel like would be next. Okay, day, there you go. You know, and he's so. not just a restaurant owner. This guy's a chef. <laughs> no, no, and everyone no, talks no. about your food. It's like this isn't like just like he's a grill dude. Yeah. This is like culinary awesomeness. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we so and on top of that we do we do baking. You know, okay. so we every morning I'm here about two one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. Wow. We start the baking, you know, the cheesecakes, the you know, whatever the, the chocolate macadamia pies and yes. things like that. So we, we kind of start with that, and then you know, then we roll after about maybe six or so. We roll into the savory side where we prep for the day for the savory side, cutting on the fish and things like that. So, I mean, you know, so we like I said, I was a fisherman, and that's how we got into ah, this. Okay. And then we, that's how we went from fishermen to be drying your own fish, wholesaling it throughout the state of Hawaii and a few markets on the mainland, and then converted into a small little mom and pop shop of Malka, and then now uh, we move into town, kind of like, I guess you call it big time. Yeah, you're hitting the big time. <laughs> town, yeah. so, so, I mean, it was a sad move because um, the Malka people kind of missed us up there. Yeah, so. yeah, if you guys had a yeah. chance to actually see that space, um, you ate in the parking lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, was exactly. Next, it was down in Kalikakua. Uh, but now here, um, you've got some seating outside, yep. and if you guys want to find them, you're actually next to Domino's. Domino's, And yep. what's the name of this plaza? Um, this is the... Um, Crossroads. Crossroads yeah. Plaza. And it's yeah. next to the old Safeway. Old Safeway. For people yep. like you know who yep. live around here. I like key lime pie, but I haven't tasted the best key lime pie in all of Hawaii until <laughs> just this moment. So I'm going to give this a shot and see what I think. It's so interesting. It's not green. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> not only is it tangy and not too tangy sweet, like you said, it's weird. This is like heaven <laughs> wow just the meringue has a nice beautiful flavor to it and also the um the um the crust, crust. <laughs> oh my goodness it's thick and yummy oh mm. okay he wins <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and uh, congratulations. Well, thank you. It's amazing. Thank it's you. fun to have new things happening in Kona. Exactly. So thank you. you. Know, thank you. So this morning I am with Russell Chef from Hawaii Boat Clubs and you guys, he has got a really cool new opportunity for you, you boat lovers in Kona. Tell us a little bit about what it is that your business is doing. Sure, yes. We're a member-based uh, social organization. Uh, we manage a fleet of boats for our members to access at their convenience. 
we uh, we launch two boats here out of Hanako Hau in Kona, and we also launch a boat, our 25-foot blackfin, out of Kwai Hai. We also have a members lounge located in Kwai Hai. Our members can access the lounge at their convenience. We have some snacks and drinks, uh, big screen TVs, and some comfortable seating. Um, we host social events on a regular basis for our members. Uh, we we uh, had an event recently over at Gertrude's. We had a jazz band and some some nice catered food for our members. And previously, we had a a real nice uh, mixer uh, at our lounge for all of the members. Uh, so yeah, we like to get a. So, so it's not just renting the not, it's not just taking a boat out and hanging out with your friends. You can actually be part of the club and get a chance to meet other boat enthusiasts Absolutely. in West Hawaii, right? Absolutely. We're creating a community of ocean loving folks. Uh, we're connecting our members with uh, different nonprofits and organizations, uh, you know, focused on reef conservation, wildlife, right. and habitat. Um, trying to engage in a variety of different projects uh, that our members can actively become involved in um, to help the island and uh, the community uh, here at the harbor. That's awesome. Listen up all you new business owners. That's the kind of people we like to have in Hawaii. We're a, a full concierge service for our members. Uh, getting out on the water can be quite difficult here in Hawaii uh, for a variety of different reasons. Uh, our slip space out in the harbor is limited and uh, there's a several year waiting list to acquire a slip. Uh, it's, it's quite expensive if you can find one available. So really your only practical option is to launch the boat down our boat ramp over here. So what we do for our members is we meet in an open area of the gravel lot. We'll help them load their personal items onto the boat so they don't have to lug it down to the dock. And then we'll proceed to drop the boat down the, down the ramp, tie it off at the dock and have it ready to go for the members. All they need to do is hop in, go out and enjoy the water when they come back in, we'll be at the dock ready to greet them, and we'll take it from there. We take the boat, we haul it over to the washdown station, we wash and clean the boat, and then we take it back to storage and prepare it for the next reservation. So real quick, um, tell people a little bit about, um, so it's a membership organization. Yes. They can find out more information on your website Absolutely. at? It's hawaiiboatclubs.com. Okay, and then um, I gotta tell you guys, um, the reason these guys reached out to us first, but I've had three friends join this club mm -hmm. in West Hawaii, and they're like, oh, tell people about this boat club, it's amazing. So um, we're actually going to go out on the boat today, you guys are going to see what it's, it looks like out on the water, and um, I'm really excited about you growing this business, I think that's going to be really Excellent. good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Hey, so one of these long-awaited uh, restaurants, in fact, they, we've shown their front door in some other of our update videos, and today we're actually going to go in there and show it to you guys the uh, Aloha Vibes is open for business with their beautiful view of the ocean from the Kona Inn lawn. So let's go uh, see what they're doing. Hey, so we're in the Kona Inn Shopping Center, and this is the newest addition to the bar scene, and it's called Aloha Vibes, and um, it is uh, a beautiful view of the ocean from here, and today is 25% off wines. Wednesday wine day. Come on, ladies, let's go. Um, let's take a look inside. Jennifer. Jennifer. Um, and tell us a little bit about the restaurant. When did it open? Where are the hours of operation? What's the story? Yeah, so we opened about a month ago, mid-June. Um, so it's CJ was is the owner and he wanted to have a place that locals can come and have like Hawaiian food, uh, Hawaiian inspired drinks and just feel the aloha, feel the spirit of the island. Well, you definitely, definitely chose a great location. You guys, the view is amazing. Um, and then when are they open? We're open um, Tuesday through Sunday. Uh, 10, uh, 11 to 10. Okay, so 11 to 10. Yes. They serve a rock and lunch menu. Yes, and you can drink until well after sunset. Yes. <laughs> and um, with the um, the restaurant itself, um, it sounds like it's Hawaiian inspired, locals are invited. Um, is there anything else that would make one people want to come in? Is there something you want to tell this is the best thing ever? A fantastic spot to just enjoy yourself, soak in the energy of the island and feel at home. There you go. And we're going to try the food now. Okay, here is the pokey trio. We've got a pokey tartare made out of teriyaki pokey, and we've got a uh, a, a um, avocado spicy pokey, and then we've got a Hawaiian style pokey with uh, limu is what's in there too. So uh, let me try the, the Hawaiian style here. Mm. Uh, these are definitely good. So this is uh, the uh, Aloha Vibes version of basically an Aperol spritz, and um, the uh, 
concept of this restaurant is not just Oceanside Dining. They make their own syrups. So craft cocktails are their thing. And um, if you like a chai tea, they make that themselves here. And there's lots of different kinds of things to discover with them all using only local sourced products. So come in and get a different flavor than anything you've ever had. This one's really good. The next one is for your adventure people. They have opened up a climbing wall here in Kona. Can you believe that? I've never heard of that. That would actually come to existence. But uh, we met the owner's name. One of the owners, his name is Nim. And uh, we got a chance to go down here and it was, it, it's cool. Would you do, you climbed up to the top pretty well. Yeah, in fact, uh, watch my climbing skills on this next clip. Hey, all you adventure people on 365 Hawaii, we have a treat for you. A new climbing gym that just is opening soon. And I'm here with the co-owner of this beautiful place, Kona Cliffs, and it's Nim Rasky, and he is going to tell us a little bit about what is going on here. Tell us. Well, welcome. Uh, <laughs> we're soft opening in early July. We're grand opening at the end of July for all the locals and anyone who wants to wander in. But we have a 2,500 square foot bouldering gym opening up at Brewblock, and we're just trying to get the doors open. Tell us a little bit about who is this gym built for? Uh, everybody, basically. There's an existing group of climbers here in town that have been jonesing for a climbing gym forever and they haven't had one. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of people here that have frankly never tried it because they've never had exposure to it. Right, because so. this is the first time in our island and now all of Hawaii or just our island that has had this experience? Uh, there's a gym over on the Hilo side. They've got a wall there, but like Kona's never had one. And yeah. you know, for all the people that are locals on this side and all the tourists who come into Kona side, there's never been an opportunity. And you basically can't climb outdoors in right. Hawaii unless you're a very advanced climber and willing to bushwhack your way exactly. off, off the- <laughs> Or hurt yourself you know. by falling on the lava. Right. Um, and what's kind of cool you guys about the, uh, it's, it's like a gym. It's like it has great, like, you know, soft fall landing so you can actually challenge yourself. How high is the, the wall? So the wall is about 16 feet uh, okay. above the padding. We're standing on about a foot and a half of foam and uh, reinforced flooring. So even if you fall from the top of the wall, it's not a big deal. You'll be fine. I mean, there's risks, but it's made to be fine for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for any difficulty and like athletic level. It's for any age level. So yeah, you can start as early as like three or four. Yeah. You can go quite late in life. And yeah, if you're new to athletics, you can start with some of the basic stuff. And if you're already ripped and an experienced climber, we've got a lot of really complex stuff on the wall too. Uh, it's membership only for all of July, uh, starting in just a day or so here. And then uh, at the 29th, last Saturday of the month, then it'll open for all day passes, anyone who wants to wander in. So for Kamaaina, we're gonna offer a couple different things. I mean, the main one is for anyone who comes in after our grand opening and you've never climbed before, never been in the gym before especially, we'll do a half off day rate. We'll give you rental shoes for free and just kind of welcome you in here, orient you on bouldering, which means climbing without a harness on a low wall. Mm -hmm. And we'll just get you in the door and get you excited about it. And, and you know, if you love it and you want to become a member, so be it, you know, but uh, we just want to give everyone access and make it easy for people to try it. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Can you grab the top of all four pins? Okay. I'm a badass! Okay, so if you want this business to survive, come on out and join the membership. Getting a membership, you go to conacliffs.com. There you go, and uh, let's go play. Uh, let me give you a little update on the Kilauea volcano. And the answer to that question is no, it's not going off right now. It stopped, it only lasted like less than three weeks. So, so when there's an eruption, and you guys know that we chase after that, uh, we found out later on that actually the first few days after the eruption started, those fountains were going, and then all of a sudden it went put, 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 and sputtered to a halt. And I was happy we got there the first day to catch some really, it was spectacular when it was there. They covered the entire uh, caldera floor, it was a really, very, very stylish is what yeah. it was. But don't be sad because you know how it goes. Kilauea is always an active volcano, so she's just taking a break for right now. Yes, but it will come back. Yes, and that's what's giving us our beautiful air quality too. We did the UFO tour. It's a little, it's new to, newer to us, and uh, they've been going a little while, but they're kind of getting rolling now. Yep. And uh, why and then, don't we take you on that footage now and show you that? Okay, like back to you, Mac. Okay, so we are here at Waikoloa Village, and we're up actually in this 
dark area because where else would you want to go for a UFO tour? So I'm here with the co-owner of Big Island UFO Tours, Lisa Thompson, PhD, and she is going to tell us a little bit about the company that she founded about two years ago with her husband, Skip. Um, so tell us a little bit about what UFO tours have to do here. Okay, so Hawaii is a hot spot of activity and we moved here two and a half years ago and we realized just how much there is going on. I have been an experiencer my entire life of this phenomena and so when I realized what we could see and what I could share with the world, I decided to start the tour. So first and foremost, I love educating people about what the phenomena is. Mm -hmm. So really, it's about there should be no fear. There's a lot of fear right now, but there is no fear. And so when people understand who these beings are, why they might be coming to visit, it makes it a little more palatable. Mm -hmm. And then we have disclosure happening. So I train people how to identify all of the moving objects in the sky so that when we know predictable behavior of airplanes, satellites, shooting stars, then we can actually see movement that is probably spacecraft. Okay. I think it's spacecraft, you know, other people might. And we got a chance to do that tonight and we yeah. saw a variety <laughs> of things that were moving around in the sky. So I'm here to tell you, it's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I can't guarantee what we're ever going to see. However, there have only been maybe one or two nights in the two years we've been doing this where there wasn't activity, but there was a lot, of, also a lot of cloud cover. Oh, there we go. Right. So. And so she's chosen to be up here. As you guys might know about the Big Island, is that we have a little, very little light pollution. So there's the sky is just beautiful and you get a chance mm -hmm. to see all the stars. But what's interesting is what Lisa and skip off and we're going to show you with these they have night vision goggles there you go right yes. there and that way you guys can like see right into the cosmos and they've got um uh clickers we call them um, laser pointers <laughs> and she's able to say look at look at look at look at look at look at and i'm telling you guys i brought the mother-in-law too and she was like, <laughs> like oh my gosh another one another one another one I'm very impressed because I wasn't too sure what to expect out here right, tonight. I so know. this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> so you get a chance to come out here, you get a chance to sit down, you get to hear Lisa's story about her experiences, and then um, you get a chance to like you know get the night vision goggles on, and you get a chance to see it for yourself. So uh, very cool. So tell them a little bit about how can they reach you, and what's the, what's how can they become one of your people that goes on this tour? Yes. So we do offer Kama Aina rates. Mm -hmm. um, we also have an extended spiritual tour for people cool. who really want to do a deep dive. And all that information is on our website, BigIslandUFOTours.com. You can also get us at 808-345-7075. There you go. And, and you then, can also, if you're really into this, she's also putting on a big fat seminar. A, big, a three to four day galactic retreat. There so, you go. Yes. Yeah, so look, that under, look for that on our website, right? <laughs> yes. So cool. And so, I teach classes on this all yeah, the time. Yeah. Too. And again, you guys also, she's wrote the book. She's really cool. Um, and um, you guys, seriously, if you want to do something really interesting, you probably haven't done on the Big Island before, check this out. Good job. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, on one of our last videos, we talked about the uh, Kona Village opening. And uh, as of, I think it was last week, that yeah, it actually first. did, oh, did, yeah, a few weeks ago, did open. And there are people that are now staying there, and I heard they're having a really good time there. Yeah, so one of our friends actually went and uh, kind of scoped it out, and she said that they do not have plans right now to let members of the public come in and eat in their restaurants. We were kind of thinking that might have been a good idea. But. Yeah. And I guess uh, they buy, you know, well, they're kind of still in the soft opening stage. So we're going to hopefully that that's going to change. Because one of my friends who took some pictures of their um, restaurants in the grounds, it's beautiful. I hope that we can get in there. The last new business that we're going to go check out today is the Rockin' Crab. And I don't know that much about it, so it'll be interesting to see what it is. Uh, 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 but they, it, they have a, looks like a good selection of seafood, so yeah, we're yeah. good to go. A lot of our friends have been going, and they seem to be very happy about it. So it'll be fun to introduce you guys to this new uh, business that used to be at the High Hop restaurant. So hey, we're in front of Rock and Crab, and uh, we're gonna go in and check the space out. Uh, we found out it's a chain, uh, but I've never heard of it. And some of my friends who've actually eaten here before say you buy this like $55 experience of like all the stuff that you can eat as a group. Eric and I are going by ourselves today. We'll see how it goes. So let's take a crack at Rock and Crab. <laughs> Uh, so I am with Elaine, who is the manager here at Rock and Crab, and uh, she's going to tell us a little bit more about what the restaurant operations. For us, definitely seafood. We like the food, seafood, and for us, it's the first one in this island. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's 
we we'll bring them all twice for the, our local customer. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, and are you open seven days a week? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And people can do big parties? Yes, we do. Because yes, I've seen that you've got a special where people can come in and get, um, I, I saw it outside, it's the $55 one, which, mm -hmm. so it has a bunch of potatoes and seafood. Is it crab? Uh, they have crab, shrimp, and a lobster tail. And the, All of it. Oh, uh, we have put a potato and the corn. Yeah, yeah. And the corn, okay, yes. too, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a full meal that people can yeah. do, and it's for sharing, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So this is the first time I think I've seen something like that in Kona, for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, and then also these, um, if you guys notice, the, um, the pieces of paper on the table look mm -hmm. like the kind of things that they would have with those big crab feeds yeah. on the mainland. Yeah. So do people actually like, put them in the middle and start working on the crabs and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> so it's an entertainment event to eat here too. All right, I'm dressed appropriately for this. I got I'll little things here, and you rip the old head ask off, and you. But I can ask them. Um, mm, garlicky with a yeah. little bit of spice yeah. to it. Sometimes Tastes pretty good. That we usually don't have a lot of diversity in food, and uh, I must say, New Orleans style um, uh, crawfish is not something we usually have here. So it's kind of fun, and I even had to kind of have a little figure out the best way to eat these little suckers, but. Um, they're good and they're fun, and I definitely think we're having a good time here. I'm not the hugest shellfish fan, but I realized, yes, I do like clam chowder, and I actually enjoyed some of those uh, heads and tails, um, but the sauce was really good. Um, and get this, you guys, this space is really fun for Instagrammy moments. Like uh, she said that uh, one of the things that people do sometimes is they stick these little heads <laughs> on their hands, and they go like this. <laughs> I love that stuff. Um, so uh, I'd give it uh, two thumbs up for uh, creativity, originality, and food quality. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so thanks for bringing new food to Kona. Yeah, we try. We keep trying with the more choice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I live right here for six years already. Yeah. Yeah. I like trying to different food. Yes, and I think a lot of people say they wish they had more choices in Kona. Yeah. So it's nice to see this. And there's also look look above her head. She, there's fun to be had here with photos too. So thank you, Lane, and good luck on this restaurant. Thank you, thank you, Diane. <laughs> so the other two, we had a couple of gas stations that are going in, and the answer is they are still continuing to plug along on those, and we look forward to the day that they uh, actually get in because I think I heard the Safely gas is pretty cheap. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be fun. But until that time, they are still working. So you know it's a small town update when we tell you about our two burgeoning uh, <laughs> gas stations. Uh, but uh, we also talked to you guys last time too about them uh, ripping out the old um, comfort station, aka bathrooms, at uh, Magic Sands and Alaloa. And uh, the bathrooms are done. And uh, so is the uh, handicap wrap from the upper area to the bottom. And I think they're still doing some work on the parking lot. So we still can sit by and see how that's going. But they're also landscaping um, an area that uh, is next to that little bay. I think they call it Mile 4 Bay. Um, and that'll be interesting to see what they end up doing with that part of the park as well. So it's ongoing. Okay, one thing about an update also includes like what's life like in Hawaii. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Eric sits on the board of directors for the West Hawaii Association of Realtors, and I'm on the programs committee. And um, therefore, we also help uh, understand what's housing issues uh, are affecting and infrastructure um, issues affecting West Hawaii. Um, also, I am on the uh, housing and uh, permitting uh, task force for the Kahala Chamber of Commerce. And uh, from that, I wanted to give you guys kind of like a little bit of an update for those of us who uh, live here. Um, so, um, uh, when we went to the Kona Kakala uh, Chamber of Commerce um, luncheon, Josh Green, our wonderful governor, was speaking, and he is bringing some fresh air and some movement to some of these things that have been sticking, I think. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to move along is uh, attainable housing, and uh, that's important for uh, this island. And also, um, just getting the opportunities to figure out what is causing the cost of housing to be so expensive. And a lot of it was regulation. So Josh is trying to clear up a lot of that government regulation so we can get housing built easier and faster and more affordably. Um, and today I went to a task force uh, meeting with uh, our mayor, Rich Mitch Roth, and he was talking about how when they implemented a software called Epic, um, it did have some issues, uh, but uh, they've worked through a lot of it. And you know, listen to this, you guys, because I know that sometimes when you're watching us our, on our real estate channel, we talk about how, how hard it is to get anything built here, that they went 
from 169 days to get a permit through, and they're down to like 25 right now. Um, so that's a, a big win um, you know, for the county. And uh, sometimes, you know, when we don't really see our leaders actually doing anything, um, they are making strides and watching Josh and uh, Mitch um, be able to meet with the business community um, and tell us more about how they're listening to us and making things happen. That's a good thing. And I love that Josh said um, he's going to fail, fail fast and fail often to get things moving with innovation. And Mitch is uh, definitely listening to us. In fact, he said that uh, we've got some of our water issues um, resolved now. And so now with the water problem and the credits kind of like getting work through, it'll be easier to build more housing to help more of our people who are actually doing the work to keep Hawaii vibrant. So uh, there's your little update. And uh, if you wanna learn more about what we're doing with real estate and also in the community, uh, make sure you check out our other YouTube channel, which is 365 Hawaii Real Estate Minute. Hey, Julie, who sponsors our channel? Well, that would be us, Eric and I. Yes, that's cheap. <laughs> so one of the sponsor messages we have for you today is the fact that Eric and I are realtors with Keller Williams Realty Big Island. And uh, we help many of our 365 fans actually buy and sell real estate. Yep. We also are offering education on our other YouTube channel, 365 Hawaii Real Estate Minute. Minute. Yep. And? Uh, and our website is uh, 365hawaiiliving.com. And on that website, you can join our Ohana, which offers free resources, books, and an email um, experience where we basically take you through the process of buying real estate and living on Hawaii Island. And then we also have a email list of when we send out our Hawaii statistics so you guys can understand what's going on with the market right now. So you can send me an email at julie.seamless.com or go ahead and join the Ohana and we'll get right back to you guys. Aloha.